Hi everyone, I'm Kate from The Katen and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be sharing the coolest kitchen gadget that ever existed ever. I'm the first person in South Africa to try it, so it's very exciting. Do you want to know what it is? <laughs> Guys, it's a 3D printer, but it prints chocolate. <laughs> Okay, so let's go through what you get in the box when you buy one of these 3D chocolate printers because it comes with a lot of different things. Um, first of all, it comes with this, this guy, which is the cartridge holder, and this is, actually holds the chocolate, so that goes inside, and that's where we're going to stick the, the chocolate refills, which are these guys. They look like that. And they come in a whole lot of different flavors, so there's the normal cho dark chocolate, chocolate raspberry I got, cocoa, nut, I'm assuming, and orange, ooh yum. So you can actually make flavored goodies too. And then you get this little, cute little, my cousini, what is it, a silicone mat? Uh, I assume that's for printing on. And then a little SD card, little my cousini SD card, which uh, has got all the designs preloaded on. There's like thousands of them, so you slot that into the machine and it also comes with this catalog of templates like there are so many and it's so exciting and I don't know where to start first So now that the machine is preheating, it gives you 10 minutes to decide what you're gonna make, um, which is way too little time because once you get looking at these designs, I don't think you're gonna be able to control yourself. So I have been pouring over this pamphlet and I think I'm going to start with the praline hollow molds, which is a great way to make like individual chocolates almost. Um, so think like petit fours, like after dessert, that kind of thing. And I think it's a great way to show off what this baby can really do because the designs are so intricate. So I'm going to go for what they call the polygon vase. Um, and what's kind of cool is they tell you how much refill you're going to use, how much chocolate. So it says 37%. So as you print, the machine will tell you how much is left. And so you can make the most of a cartridge, which I think is really smart. So let's load this baby up with a polygon vase. ridiculously cool is that I mean it's so perfect um, these are some that I made uh, the other day when I was busy experimenting and I mean they are just so beautiful so I'm going to fill them with a selection of fillings I've made a chocolate ganache a salted caramel sauce and a white chocolate and hazelnut ganache um, and I'm going to just pop the filling in the middle you could put something on the base if you like nuts cherries or whatever and I think they would make a really cute petty four So 
So the next thing I want to try uh, is Christmas related. Uh, there's all these beautiful Christmas designs, which I suppose you could put on desserts if you wanted. But I thought how fun would it be to hang them on a Christmas tree? So I'm going to do a Christmas bauble, I think, and a Christmas tree and maybe a reindeer. Let's, let's do that. So apart from using what's already loaded onto the My Cousini, you can also create your own personalized designs, which is super fun for special occasions. So on the app on the website, you can type in somebody's name, for instance, um, or a special message for them, and you can print that out and use it to top like a cupcake or a cake or a pavlova, for instance. It's a really fun way to add like a special touch for a bake for somebody. So this is a really fun way to decorate cookies if you're not a great piper is you let the micazzini do all the work and you print a flat design and then I just popped this one on while the cookie was still a little bit warm or you could actually even print it straight on the cookie um, which is even easier and that's really fun because you can do like Christmas cookies um, and these really intricate designs I mean how beautiful is that? So the final way you can use your Micazzini is you can actually design your own 3D designs um, if you're a little bit tech savvy. The team at Micazzini actually sent me my logo um, which I uploaded onto the SD card and so that means you can print like little versions of your logo to put on dessert. So if you own a bakery or a cafe or an ice cream shop, just imagine being able to put your own logo on your desserts and your creations. I think it's so much fun. So let's give that one a go. Just look at all these amazingly cool things that we made with this incredible machine, including my logo, which I put on a cookie so I could eat it later. And this isn't even the coolest part. The coolest part is that I have a second machine and you know what that means. I'm going to give away a Micazzini. So check out the details in the post below and make sure you enter so that you can get one of these in time for Christmas and make all these beautiful, beautiful creations for your friends and family. And don't mind me, I'm just going to eat my logo. Mm.